Roman reigns to send Paul Heyman on WWE Raw for a secret mission. For the last four years, Paul Heyman has stood by Roman Reigns' side, pledging his unwavering loyalty and serving as the wise man. With Reigns' monumental return, the stage is set for Heyman's homecoming, as he is expected to join the original tribal chief. However, Paul might have a much bigger responsibility on his shoulders this time, as Roman could assign him a secret mission on Raw. Even though the head of the table returned to teach Solo Sicko a lesson and take back the crown that belonged to him, the numbers game has been stacked against him. Roman Reigns seems to be standing alone in his battle against the bloodline. He would require his estranged brothers, the very ones whom he once called family, to forge an army of his own to herald a war against Sicko's faction. There's a good possibility that he could send Paul Heyman to Monday Night Raw on a mission to mend fences with his former right-hand man. Reigns could ask Heyman to pay a visit to G. Uso and enlighten the latter on everything that has been going on around the bloodline lately, from Solo Sicko's deceitful rise in power to forming a new bloodline. The original tribal chief could send a message to the Yeet Master, seeking help in his ongoing battle against Solo Sicko and his group. The Wesman's potential visit to Ra could work as a catalyst for healing old wounds and reuniting the estranged brothers. It could eventually pave the way for the return of Jey Uso to SmackDown, with Roman Reigns reuniting with his former right-hand man. This could be the first step towards the much-awaited reformation of the original bloodline before the highly anticipated civil war between Reigns and Sicko's faction. Roman Reigns may have revealed his ultimate goal behind his WVE return. Ever since Roman Reigns went on hiatus following his WrestleMania XL loss, Solo Sicko has deceitfully captured his position and taken control of the bloodline. Not only did he occupy the leadership of the Salmon faction, but he also claimed himself as the new tribal chief. With Reigns returning to WWE at SummerSlam, he has seemingly revealed his ultimate goal behind his triumphant comeback. The head of the table apparently returned to re-establish his position as the original tribal chief and to revive the legacy of the Eula Fala that Solo Sicko tainted in his absence. In addition, the former undisputed WWE Universal Champion returned, seeking retribution from Sicko for betraying him and his malignant intent to destroy the reputation of the NOI family. Roman Reigns' main objective is seemingly to knock the 31-year-old star off the coveted throne that belonged to him. It could only be a matter of time before a great civil war erupts on SmackDown, the rumblings of which might be heard around the entire landscape. However, Roman Reigns, CM Punk, Dominic Mysterio, and four other current WVE stars who could be targeted by the Wyatt Six for betraying their families. The Wyatt Six continue to make headlines due to its actions in WVE. Stars like Roman Reigns, CM Punk, and Dominic Mysterio may feel the group's wrath in the coming weeks since they have betrayed their allies and friends in the past. When the Wyatt Six debuted on WWE Raw in June, it attacked several backstage personnel and Chad Gable. Weeks later, the group's members hinted that they targeted Gable because of how he treated Alpha Academy. However, the American-made leader is not the only superstar who has done his family wrong. For the past four years, Roman Reigns manipulated his cousins and used them to win matches and retain the undisputed WWE Championship. Meanwhile, Dominic Mysterio not only betrayed Rey Mysterio but also his longtime stablemates, Rhea Ripley and Damian Priest. During his first stint, Punk disbanded the Straight Edge Society, leaving his then teammates directionless. In this list, we will look at four stars who have committed similar sins as the above mentioned names and may be targeted by the Wyatt Six. At NXT Great American Bash Night 2, Wesley and Zachary Wentz failed to defeat Axiom and Nathan Fraser to bring the Tag Team Championship to the Rascals. However, the former North American champion took the loss one step further by attacking Wentz and Trey Miguel not long after. Since the betrayal happened this week, the Stamford-based promotion might look to establish Lee as a heel before putting him in a feud with the Wyatt Six. Hi lovely viewers, welcome to my channel. I am Lima. Hope your day is so well. If you like the video and subscribe the channel.